This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to add MIDI's and sequence files to your Z64 ROM management tool. Um, so these MIDI's are set up beforehand. They already have instruments assigned and all that. Um, I'll have a separate tutorial on how to do that with Reaper. But basically I'm just going to show you how to get finished MIDI's and finished sequence files into the folder. Okay. So I already have a scene set up that I want to inject. Uh, it's scene 1C, which is Ice Cavern, and the song ID is 06. Oh no, sorry, wrong one. It's uh, the factory interior. So it's scene 09, which is Ice Cavern, and song ID 58. So this is Snow Peak uh, MIDI I made, and I used sound font uh, 19, I believe. So f just for the sake of the tutorial, we'll say it was 19, and it's all set up. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is take your MIDI file and drag it onto the EXE. Z64 ROM will ask you your sequence ID. I want to put it in over Ice Cavern, which is uh, song ID 58. So the sequence ID is going to be 58. And then it asks you the sound font ID, which is the sound bank you had used, uh, whether it be custom or vanilla. I used uh, Water Temple Sound Bank, which is 19. So we'll do 19. And then it will tell you that it added the new sequence. Uh, after you get that, you just simply build your ROM. And it should automatically insert the sequence into your ROM to test out. So let's see if it works. kill the lo-fi all right so i put it in ice cavern yep there it is use the correct sound font sounds the way i made it okay that's correct so that's how you put a MIDI in. Uh, so say you already have a sequence file. Um, what you can do is just set up any MIDI like you just saw. Any MIDI, doesn't matter. And uh, let's say we have a sequence file from Darunia's Joy that we would like to use. The Darunia Joy sequence right now, right? I like Banjo-Kazooie personally. Uh, so let's say we want to use Freeze Easy Peak here. Or actually, what, what's one that I know for sure works? Because some of these are a little broken. Yeah, we'll try it. It's easy peek. Uh, so you have a sequence file. Um, what you do is after you drop the MIDI, you go into your source, sound, sequence, just delete this. And you're going to want to then go into your ROM folder to drop the sequence in that. This is the easiest way to do to add a sequence. Go into your sound, sequence. Uh, once again, I want to put it over ID 58, which is Ice Cavern default. Uh, we can rename after that to anything you want, though. So we can rename this folder to Freeze Easy. Okay. And then we're going to want to go into that. So let's take our seek file here. Copy and paste. We're gonna check out the meta file. Notepad's fine. This will tell us what sound font that they used. So they used font three for Freeze Easy Peak. You can then go into your config tomal and just change the sound font in the config tomal to match that, which is three. Save. Okay. Now you want to name your Freeze Easy Peak sequence to this. So what we'll do is we'll just copy this, delete the old A-Seq, and then rename the new one to sequence.aseq. And it'll ask you to change extension, that's fine. That, that works. And once that's in, you got your new A-Seq. Okay, the sound font's correct, 03. So now we can go back and build our ROM and test it out. Build here. Okay. 
kill the lo-fi. Alright, ice cavern. Oh, there it is. And that's how you get midis and sequence files into Z64 ROM management tool. <laughs>